I've been drinking watermelon. Hi, my name is JP. I'm in Chiang Mai, Thailand, and I'm traveling the world. Hey, Globalites. So I am coming to you from my apartment in Thailand, in Chiang Mai. I've been here for a couple weeks now. Uh, if you're new to this channel, I am from the San Francisco Bay Area and I sold everything I own to travel full time and indefinitely. And now I'm here and I have recorded so much and I have so much to show you and in the coming weeks you're gonna see a lot more. But today I just wanted to focus on one part of my trip so far, which is the very, very beginning. I started the trip off very, very well because I was able to book a business class flight from San Francisco to Hong Kong. And I took a small commuter flight to Chiang Mai, but we'll get to that in a second. And if you've never flown business class, it was pure luxury. And I'm sure first class is even better. I've never flown either of them, and this was my very first time. So I just wanted to take a second to share that experience with you. So the last we left off, I was in the San Francisco International Airport. I went directly to the International Terminal. When I got to security, the very first perk hit. I was able to bypass the entire long line that most people have to take. And because I'm flying business class, I got priority security check, which was the first time that this ever happened to me. And as soon as I got through security, my next step was to find the business class lounge. So I was flying Cafe Pacific. It was down this narrow hallway. And when I finally got there, these magical glass doors opened and the lounge was gorgeous. There were all these different rooms you could sit in with couches and chairs and outlets and everything that you would need to spend a lot of time there and be comfortable. One of the first rooms I walked through was the dining area. The dining area had a counter full of snacks and drinks and food and a noodle bar. Fresh to order. There also was an open self-service bar area. I'm talking top shelf bottles of liquor. Unfortunately, I was sick at the time, so I didn't go crazy over there at the alcohol area, but you bet your ass I would have. And after I got my meal, I just sat back and enjoyed the free Wi-Fi and had a very relaxing time before my flight. So, okay, then from the lounge, it was boarding time. I got up, I took all my stuff, and I got to my gate, and I walked down, and there were two lines to check in. There was the business and first class line, and there was the economy line. And the economy line looked a little busy. I just went straight into the business class line, and then I walked down the corridor, and again, we were being separated. There's going to be an entrance into the airplane for the economy class, separate from the business and first class people. I felt weird not going along with everybody else, but it was nice not to have to deal with waiting for people. I went down through that entrance, and then I walked through first class, and then I found my seat, business class. I was just amazed that I had a seat that could recline fully. I could lay down, prostrate, on the seat during this flight. It was basically like a chair bed, a reclining chair, whatever. It went completely flat when you wanted to lay down. Tons of leg space. Nice monitor, two windows, uh, some headphones, all this shit. And I guess this reclines. Very private. It's awesome. Ah, I had blankets and pillows. It was, it was so nice. They brought me a hot towel at the beginning of the flight. Because it was so comfortable, I got several hours of sleep. I got some work done on a video. I was able to do like a lot during this flight and I never felt like cramped or uncomfortable. And as we were getting closer and closer to Hong Kong and it was, it was about morning time there, they served us a delicious breakfast. Breakfast time. I'm talking multiple courses, beautiful platter of fruit, an omelet for me, some bread, like it was, it was great. The food did not disappoint. This was the best flight that I have ever had, ever had. 
So okay, I had the most incredible flight of my life. I'm ready to get on the ground in Hong Kong. We made it to Hong Kong. It's 5 a.m. in the morning, and I'm heading straight to the arrival lounge to get a shower. I am operating on this tip that my friend gave me, which is that the Cafe Pacific Lounge has a shower area. I took that information and I was like, okay, I'm going, I want to go into the city of Hong Kong and explore because I have a nine hour layover in Hong Kong, but I also don't want to be gross. <laughs> so step one, shower, and then step two, go into the city. And after I talk to a person at the information desk, she tells me that the lounge resides in the departure area of the airport. So I'm like, okay, uh, I'll go to the departure area. So she points me to the direction of the security check between the arrivals and the departure area. And I didn't think of anything of it. And then I was heading straight to the Cathay Pacific Lounge. And when I got there, the lounge was even better than the San Francisco Lounge. It was two stories, it had multiple rooms, it had a bar. I went directly to the shower area. The shower was beautiful. Look how nice this is. So this is part of the business class, first class lounge, and they have a shower, a private bathroom, everything you need to get freshened up. And I'm going to get freshened up, and then we're going to go into the city. And it was so nice to have a shower after this long, long flight. That shower was everything. I feel so much better than yesterday. I'm so ready to get into the city. We're in the airport right now and I need to figure out how I can get out. And so I found an information desk and I talked to the woman. I asked her, I'm trying to get into Hong Kong. How do I do that? And she looked confused at first. And then she told me, there's, there's no way out. Remember that whole point I made that I was originally in the arrivals area and the lounge was in the departure area and I needed to get through security to get to the departure area? Well, in Hong Kong's international airport, the arrivals area and the departure area are completely separate. They're on separate floors and there's absolutely no way to get from the departure area to the arrivals area. You can't leave the departures area until you depart on a flight, which meant that my entire day in Hong Kong never happened. It never did. Uh, so here's a tip. If you are planning to go into Hong Kong to see the sights and you have access to that lounge, just get into Hong Kong. I don't care how smelly you are, just go to the city. That's what I would have done. It would have, I would have had a whole video about Hong Kong, but instead, uh, no. That's, that's not the case. So I just laughed it off. And instead of going into Hong Kong, we're gonna explore the airport. Cause this place is like a shopping mall. And so I decided to walk through the airport. There were boutique designer stores. There was also exhibits and food and just a ton of things to look at. I literally walked about like three miles while I was there. But after all of that, I returned back to the Cathay Pacific Lounge because I still had about five to six hours left of just waiting. But the lounge was super nice and I enjoyed my time there. And then finally, when the time came for me to catch my flight to Chiang Mai, my business class experience kind of ended at that moment. Because as soon as I left the lounge, I was going to take a commuter flight on Dragon Air. And there seemed to have been some kind of first class on this flight, but there wasn't a business class, and so therefore I was not eligible to take any of those premier seats. But it was definitely not the worst thing in the world going from business class to economy in this situation. I had a nice flight. And from there, you know what? I had to stop and take a second because when we ascended up into the sky, I noticed that the cloud formations were different from what you would see flying across a place like the USA. There was something enchanting about it, and maybe I was just romanticizing the whole situation, but I just was mesmerized by the sky and the clouds. As we started getting closer to Chiang Mai, 
I looked out the window and I saw these gorgeous clouds in these beautiful formations and looking down on hills of lush jungle. It was incredible and as we descended in onto Chiang Mai, the sun was setting, the sunlight was poking through and around the clouds and lighting up the valley down below. And, and this particular view, I was not over-romanticizing. It was fantastic. I hadn't seen anything like it ever. And I just stopped and I realized that everything that I had worked for, everything that I spent a year and a half of my life moving towards, came to this. This was the, the best first sight and the best first memory of Thailand that I could have ever wished for. I felt so, so grateful to have this as my welcome to Thailand. So we got down to the airport. We made it! I got through customs, then I caught a cab, and the experience of being in Southeast Asia just came flooding in. The traffic, the motorcycles interweaving through all the different lanes, and the grittiness of the buildings, the, the, the conditions of the sidewalks, the people, and the just the very like different way of living here. I just was in awe that I was here, and I, I made it here, and I was now experiencing things that I haven't experienced in like eight years. And it was great. I got to my hotel. I made it! I'm here! And I met up with my friend, Elise. As soon as I got into the room, there she was, and we compared notes. She flew economy, and apparently the experience wasn't that great. She had two different layovers, and but it was okay. She got through it. And look who it is! It's been a long journey. <laughs> She's exhausted. I'm quite frankly like <laughs> loopy right now. But uh, I have to say that because this was a business class experience to get over to Asia, it was just a great comfortable way to start the trip. So if you're curious as to how I got the business class trip to Southeast Asia, it's very simple. You can check out my video uh, about travel hacking uh, right here. It all came from one credit card that I opened and um, opened up this opportunity for me. And when I eventually have to go back across that ocean, I have enough points to take that same kind of flight back. So uh, if you want to learn more about that, go check out that video. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, follow me on all the social medias, and of course, please, Subscribe because I'm going to be posting videos every single week while I'm in Southeast Asia and maybe even if I start traveling beyond that. So thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And as I always say, until next time, get off the couch and go do great things. Bye! <laughs>